Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our first presenter, Paul Feig. First of all, just to say what an honor it is to be here with all these fantastic women. It's really, and this, and thank you to the Matrix Awards. This is unbelievable. Um, Gretchen Carlson is the bravest woman I know, and I know a lot of brave women. When I first read that Gretchen had filed a sexual harassment lawsuit against Fox News' uh, CEO, Roger Ailes, the thing I said was what we were most, most of us were thinking, damn. I mean, you don't see that kind of bravery this often uh, in this business that we call show. Talk about taking on a behemoth, and look what her bravery did. She cracked the wall. Nope, she actually blew a fucking hole in that wall. <laughs> and she created an avalanche that we are still seeing the fallout from today. Thank God. It all started with you, Gretchen. But Gretchen has always been impressive. Valedictorian of her high school class, an honors graduate from Stanford, studied at Oxford University in England, a child prodigy violinist who performed as a soloist with the Minnesota Symphony Orchestra at age 13, and the first classical violinist ever to win the Miss America crown. Once she settled her lawsuit with her former network, she could have easily disappeared and, and lived a quiet life. But she didn't. She has made fighting sexual harassment her full-time job. She's committed herself to helping other women who are going through the same situations in the workplace and beyond, reaching out to them personally, as well as writing a book and making a documentary on the subject, and preparing to testify on Capitol Hill against binding arbitration agreements that allow companies to keep sexual harassment complaints private. Gretchen Carlson is walking the walk and talking the talk. And I could not be more in awe of her. Now, I read that Gretchen is inspired by two songs when she, that she listens to when she works out. Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive and Destiny's Child's Survivor. But I would like to suggest that she also listen to a third song, Katy Perry's Roar. Because this amazing woman is roaring loudly now and she is making the world a better place for women because of it. It is my great honor to present the uh, 2017 Matrix Award honoree, my hero, Gretchen Carlson. Shut the hell up. <laughs> so what if someone said a couple things to you? Grow up and stop whining. You're too ugly to be sexually harassed. Skank. Hi, everyone. I'm Gretchen Carlson, and on July 6, 2016, I jumped off a cliff all by myself. Soon after, I determined I wasn't going to shut up and sit down. And over the last nine months, I've heard from thousands of women who many for the first time have shared their stories of shame and pain, too. Sadly, as we've just heard, it turns out even in 2017, every woman has a story. I never expected to be the face of sexual harassment, but now as one of my missions, I've already started my advocacy on Capitol Hill to change laws to ensure a better workplace for all women. And for the first time ever, I'm providing a playbook for women in my upcoming book, Be Fierce. As a kid, my grandfather nicknamed me Sparkles. But it turns out, as an adult, I've really become quite a badass. <laughs> I grew up in this small town in Oka, Minnesota, Halloween capital of the world, home of Garrison Keillor. I was lucky to have a mom who told me I could be anything I wanted to be as long as I worked hard. Serious concert violinist, Stanford University graduate, used my musical talent to become Miss America, crisscrossed the country for 25 years in television news. My life motto I wear on my wrist every day, carpe diem. And that means I do seize every day, every opportunity, and I never, ever give up. Keys to success, being ultra-organized, 
visualizing yourself achieving every goal, and understanding the beauty of learning from failure. But more than anything else is help. Thank you, Paul, for being one of the enlightened men who publicly supported me during an incredibly tough time. And most importantly, for making bridesmaids. <laughs> My kids think you are so cool. Thank you to these other amazing women of accomplishment on the stage with me for inspiring countless others. Thank you to my lawyers, <laughs> Nan, Marty, and Neil, and to the brilliant women advising me on who Gretchen will be next, Cindy and Jody. Thank you to my supportive parents, my husband Casey, who has always encouraged me to live my life to the fullest and to my two children here today as well, Kaya and Christian. Thank you, Christian, for being my sunny optimist. You wake up every day and you bounce out of bed ready to take on the world. And just looking at you makes me smile and feel better no matter what else is going on in my life. As mommy always tells you, you are my boy. Kaya. Thank you for being so brave on your first day of school this year when the current events teacher called you up to the front of the room and asked you to tell the class what happened to your mommy over the summer. You dealt with it like a champ. And a few weeks later when you finally told off a few mean girls who'd been bugging you and you came home and you told me, Mommy, I saw you do it so I knew I could do it. Giving the gift of courage is why I recently started my fund, Gift of Courage, to empower women and girls, because in giving back, we understand more fully what it means to be a whole person. So today, if you are feeling subjugated, or put down in any realm of your life. I'm here today to inspire you to speak up because as women, we will not be underestimated, intimidated, or set back by misogynists who stereotype and demean us. We will not be silenced by the ways of the establishment or the relics of the past. We will stand up together and use our voices to become the women we were meant to be. We will be fierce. Thank you. <laughs>